It's often described as one of nature's most beautiful creations, but tonight, investigator Michael George reveals why questions are blooming about a new species of orchid and whether it's a true natural wonder or just a costly man-made invention. That's a torch ginger. Long known as a flower of distinction. These are called spider orchids. This smells like chocolate. Orchid lovers often describe the plant as exotic. Just beautiful. I mean, they're absolutely an obsession. Majestic. But it used to be the rich man's flower. In a word, perfection. I love orchids. So it was no surprise. Beginning to bloom now. Lauren Armetta's Mother's Day basket this year blossomed. They're just beautiful. With a mix of her favorite flower. The white one I got from my daughter. And the other two I got from my daughter's best friend. One stood out. This is the first time I saw blue orchids and something told me they got to use food coloring or something, you know? Nothing labeled in any way, shape, or form to say it's, you know, natural or fake. Armetta's suspicion only grew when it was time to water her new blue bloom. So once the pot filled up and I tipped it over, the blue water came out. <laughs> Called Blue Mystique. It's dubbed the world's first Phalaenopsis blue orchid. We, along with our sister station in West Palm Beach, found blue on display at Home Depot and Lowe's, selling for various prices, but in each case, more than its commonly colored counterparts. You know, if you want a color, I can find you an orchid that's that color. At the American Orchid Society's world headquarters in Delray Beach. That's a genetically blue cattleya. It's a little purple, sometimes steel gray. The Blue Mystique has been cultivating questions here for months. We don't sell them, and we don't sell them because that would be an endorsement. Center Director Ron McHatton says the orchid may be pricey, but consumers should also know they're plain. Are they real blue orchids? No, they're not real blue orchids. They're white orchids that have been died. You see, I was so right. <laughs> That's such a scam to charge twice the amount. You know, it's one thing if they charge 20, but 40, that's, that's highway robbery. So who's behind the blue mystique? The silver vase company declined an interview, only saying the infusion process is a heavily guarded secret. On its website, the company touts its blue color as the result of a patented process that infuses white orchids with a special medium. This one's getting white in color. The Armetas just want the truth. At least mark it to say, not a hybrid, not natural, you know, Mother Nature did not create this. <laughs> and this orchid lover... Now it's like a light shade of blue. ...is also suggesting a much simpler name. Pretty white orchid turned blue. <laughs> <laughs> Michael George, ABC Action News. Silver Vase is now responding to these consumer concerns. New labels will let consumers know they are not really blue. The labels say in part, quote, with a little bit of magic, we turn a white orchid blue. Well, we want to know what you think about all this. Just head over to our Facebook page at abcactionnews.com slash Facebook.